Hey guys, I am Kale Clark and welcome to the season one finale of our 2020 Writing Your Vision so that you can accomplish your goal series. I am so excited for you joining us today. And since it is our season finale, I said, why not do a quick recap of all the episodes that went before us? So there were 10 episodes in this series and I am so excited. Let's begin with episode one. So in episode one, I gave the introduction, the reason why I want you all to write a vision so that you can accomplish your goals. Yes, we know that there's a scripture, Habakkuk chapter two, verses two, it says to write the vision, make it plain on tablets so he who reads it can run with it. So that is the context of this series, but I would have gone much further and I would have said, hey, it's December, let's start planning ahead for 2021. And I would have shown the importance of writing as writings brings with it clarity and we're able to massage and be able to be more specific as to what we really want to achieve, where we actually see ourselves. And for us to be able to move from our present circumstances into the future of our vision being realized. And I would have shared how this transformed my life in terms of two biblical principles that Steve Harvey was able to apply and how he was able to transform his life. And these two verses are James chapter 4 verse 2 to 3 which says, we have not because we ask not. And the second one being, declare a thing and see it comes to pass. And that is taken from Job chapter 22, verse 28. And that was episode one. Next, we have episode two. And in episode two, I shared a personal account from 10 years ago of me writing down nine specific and in detail goals on a piece of paper that I stuck on my wardrobe and how that was able to be a catalyst to help me accomplish my goal of obtaining honors in my MSc economics degree, my master's in economics. And I thank God in episode three, I dived into when we write our goals, how it focus, how it forces us rather to clarify what we really, really want. When we have goals written down smartly, SMART being an acronym, S-M-A-R-T, S being specific, M being measurable, A being achievable, R being relevant or realistic, and T meaning time bound. And time bound is important because if we don't set a deadline, our dreams, our vision will not become a reality because that is the difference between a dream becoming a goal, having it clearly defined, written down with a timestamp of when you want to accomplish it. So when we have our SMART goals, we are able to pinpoint our destination and be able to make plans to reach it. And guess what? Having a vision board helps. It doesn't have to be the traditional one done on Bristol board or a cork board, but we can be a little bit more tech savvy and do it on our phone in the comfort of your daily device that you look at, have it downloaded so that you could always review and be able to track the progress of the steps that you are taking towards achieving your goals. So download the app today if you can and take time to reflect and do introspection as to where you are now and where you want to be. Then you're able to surround yourself with specific visual representation or visual pictures of your goal being manifested. So even though it doesn't exist yet, post a picture of what you want to achieve. So it could be a picture that you download from online or just something that you uniquely imagine, draw it out, get it out there so that whenever you look at it, you're looking at the picture, it will stimulate you. Yes, I need to work towards accomplishing that goal of mine, that vision of mine. So dream big, set your goals, and take the necessary action. 
because a goal is a desired result that a person in vision plans and commits to achieve so write down your vision and there are scientific results that show that writing things down has the ability to help you remember it up to a two times more so check it out and we're moving on to episode four so in episode four i spoke on the power of the tongue life and death is in the power of your tongue and you want to be able to use your tongue as a tool to accomplish your goals so therefore we want to be able to speak life and not death over our vision and the things that we need to accomplish our vision so our thoughts and the words that we speak are a pathway to our destiny so we therefore should be filling our minds and mouths with positive thoughts thoughts that are true thoughts that are honorable thoughts that are right that are pure that are righteous that are admirable things that are worthy to be praised and excellent you should be thinking on these things and speaking out on them and that's taken from philippians chapter 4 verse 8 and also i want to encourage you to be able to speak life over yourself over your family over your finances over your health over your cognitive ability over your business over your purpose and clearly over your vision Turn those smart written goals into declarations and affirmations that you can use daily as well as speaking or declaring the scriptures over your life and this ability to speak helps in such a way because what we hear often we tend to believe and if we continue to speak what we want and speak what we hope to achieve our faith tends to increase and as our faith increase we therefore be given the extra unction or encouragement to continue pursuing and working and putting action steps so as accomplishing our goals James chapter 2 verse 17 says faith by itself if it is not accompanied by action is dead but as we quickly would sometimes say in Christian circles faith without works is dead so even as our faith increases by our daily affirmations and declarations of what we want to achieve, we still need to back it up with action. We need to start working feverishly towards our goals. Little by little each day, it don't have to be big massive steps of, or leaps, but it can be that consistent progress towards it. And I also gave a bonus episode four with um, some Kaylee daily declaration and affirmations that you can use in your life so if you could just have it on replay and it would speak to you and encourage you and then it could even be an example for you to follow where you could write more for yourself add to it and personalize it for you all right so that was episode four as well as episode four bonus now we're moving on to episode five and in episode five i spoke about what is a vision how do you know what god vision for your life is and how do you go about achieving that vision and simply put a vision is the ability to see to think perceive and create a future with imagination and creativity and it is also a revelation from god of the future and with that revelation, it can be either good or bad. And if it's good, it could give you the extra hope to start working towards it. And if it's not as positive, it can now allow us to put strategic steps in place so that we avoid those negative repercussions or outcome. And things that we can do to be able to achieve that vision or to be able to know that vision is simply First of all, seeking God's face so that we can be able to acknowledge and, un and unlock what God has in store for us in terms of our vision and potential. And this comes not other than through prayer. Secondly, we can dig into the Word of God, the B I B L E, basic instructions before leaving it. 
and Psalm 119 verse 105 says God's word the Bible is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my heart and what this simply tells us is that God's word is able to direct us into our destiny direct us into what we need to do and what we need to accomplish thirdly we need to be able to determine what we like, what we don't like, what are our passions, what are our desires that come naturally to us. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your opportunities? And what are certain threats that can hinder? So take time to do that self-discovery. And it don't have to be done on your own. You could always ask people around you because you'll have certain inclinations even from young. In terms of certain areas that you just naturally are drawn to. So, ask those that are around you that love you. Fourth, seek out mentors. Yes, mentorship is important. Mentors should be wise, trustworthy, and they have to be willing. Fifth, take time to rest, reflect, and evaluate. Yes, I strongly advise rest. Even God rested on the seventh day of creation. And it's an example for us too. Because life gets so busy and so hectic and there are so many distractions around us. But when we are able to pause to rest, we are able to zone in and be able to be still. And in that stillness, God can speak to us. And when he speaks, remember to write it or remember to journal. It's important so that we can remember what God has been speaking to us about. All right, so that was episode five. We moved on. We are now going to move on to episode six. In episode six, I would have highlighted that for our vision to succeed, we need, 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 need to be wise. And the book of Proverbs speaks a lot on wisdom. So that's a nice place to start. Because this episode was important for me is because sometimes we are delaying our vision because of what we are saying either we speak in negative and not the faithful words that we need to do as well as sometimes who we speak or share our goals and vision with and that could sometimes hinder our vision being fulfilled so this episode was a very important one to me in particular because the wisdom is so, so important. And I'm just going to share quickly five people you should avoid sharing your dreams with, sharing that vision of your life with. And the first one is negative thinkers, second negative talkers, third gossipers, fourth dream teams. And fifth, stagnant people. Be wise. All right. In episode seven, it was on what do we do when we are waiting for our vision to be fulfilled? So we're in a waiting stage. It's in coming. We're not sure when it's coming. We're just in a limbo and we wandering. And my advice to you is to prepare because time that you spend in preparing, preparation time, is time that is never wasted. And how we can prepare is by developing that personal development plan that is unique for you. So get to working. Visit that episode for more highlights on it and remember to stay focused. So while you wait, stay focused. Episode 8, this was a really, really intense episode, and it was entitled, Building and Defending in Pursuit of Your Vision. So yes, we often talk about the building aspect, but one of the things that I wanted to highlight is our ability to defend, and I would have taken scripture reference from the book of Nehemiah. So Nehemiah was in a very comfortable position, and then he would have heard some devastating news that his city, that the city of his fathers, the city of his ancestors, his homeland, the city of Jerusalem, were laid in ruins. 
the walls were torn down and they had burned down the gates and he started to pray and he became so passionate that he had a vision to build back the walls of Jerusalem so that he could provide a safety for the people inside Jerusalem and he was able to get favor with his employer favor so much so that letters were written on his behalf resources were given from his employer as well as he was able to get people to buy into his vision and were willing to work with him but although he had all this favor one of the key highlights for me was although there were many that was for him there were some that were against him at first i would call them the, the distractors the people that were questioning and be like you will award nah man that can happen and it would have even gone to people that was discouraging him and intentionally trying to cause confusion it had reached and had escalated to the point where they had plotted these would be the Sanballat, the Tobias and the Jessam they had plotted to attack Jerusalem because they were trying to build and restore the, the surrounding perimeter and they were causing confusion and bacchanal bacchanal any place you're trying to build and then people just coming all up in your space you're not going looking for them them coming up in your space and want to cause confusion and sometimes in reality these are things that we don't anticipate or we sometimes ignore these potentials and that is why i wanted to encourage you all to say while you're building you need to defend your vision so now he might have had a vision to build to rebuild the wall your vision would be different but you still need to be able to build and work towards your vision and be able to defend we learned in this book of Nehemiah the importance of having three types of people that you people that would pray watch and intercede with you secondly people that would build with you and third people that are willing to fight with you and for you not against you we also learn the importance of knowing the seasons of our lives and which season that we are in and the season to come so we need to be wise we need to be like the sons of Ezekiel in the bible and know the seasons that you are in and the seasons to come this is wisdom this is discernment and sometimes this wisdom can come by just exposure so know what season you're in and know to build and defend and episode 9 this was a nice episode where we spoke about gratitude so gratitude is a must and we showed these seven scientifically proven ways that gratitude can help you. Alright, so focus on what we have and not what we don't have. Gratitude, give thanks to God, praise Him. And here we are, episode 10, the season one finale of writing your vision so that you can accomplish your goals. And I just want to thank you for joining me on this entire journey. And I just want to encourage you to go forth and accomplish all that God has in store for you, all that God has written in your heart to do, go forth and do it. Be encouraged, you are more than able, you are more than capable, and God is with you and God is on your side. So go forth, he will send destiny help us to help you. Remember, your vision is never for yourself but for many that are around you and you will be successful. Use wisdom and God's riches blessings to you all.